Arlington House was built by George Washington Park Custis, a step-grandson and adopted son of President George Washington. It was built on an 1,100-acre estate in 1802. The estate was named after a Custis homestead in the eastern shore of Virginia. In 1831, Custis' daughter, Mary Anna, married West Point graduate Robert E. Lee. After Custis' death, Mary Anna inherited the estate. When the American Civil War broke out in 1861, Lee, who had served in the U.S. Army for 35 years, was offered command of the Union Army by President Abraham Lincoln. However, Lee felt the loyalty to his native Virginia and resigned his commission and joined the Confederates. This act was viewed as treacherous by the Union military, and it was soon determined to use the property as a burial ground for the Union war dead to prevent Lee from ever returning home. He never did. Restoration on Arlington House began in 1925, and the National Park Service acquired the land in 1933 and continued restoration efforts. Today, visitors can catch a glimpse of what Arlington House must have been like when the Lees occupied the home before the Civil War tore things apart. The family parlor is where Robert E. Lee and Mary Anna married. The dining room is where Lee proposed to Mary Anna. The center hall is where guests were greeted to the entranceway of the house. The military uniforms of the Lee's son, Boo, Rooney, and Rob, are on display downstairs. The Lee's bedchamber is where Robert E. Lee spent a restless night agonizing over his decision to remain a U.S. Army officer or join the Confederacy. He chose the latter. The chamber of the Lee boys is upstairs where there are more military uniforms on display. The slave quarters are still standing at the back of Arlington House. Sometimes the slaves worked in the kitchen garden growing peas, beans, potatoes, corn, asparagus, strawberries, cherries, and pears. A museum nearby Arlington House exhibits relics from Lee's life as well as that from George Washington, such as a lock of his hair and a watercolor drawn by his stepson. This is the pen used to sign a joint resolution that authorized Congress to restore Arlington House as a national memorial in 1925. The tomb of the unknown Civil War dead sits nearby Arlington House. It contains the remains of 2,111 unknown soldiers. They are the first unknown soldiers buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Besides the graves of many brave soldiers and military personnel, there are other memorials at Arlington. The grave of Mary Randolph is significant because she is the first person to ever be buried at Arlington. She was a cousin of Mary Anna, General Lee's wife. The old amphitheater used to be part of the Lee's Garden. It was finished in 1868 and has 1,500 seats. President James Garfield and William Jennings Bryan have spoken here. A statue to Major General Philip Kearney stands inside of Arlington States. He was a brave soldier who lost an arm in the Mexican-American War. He died in the Battle of Chantilly in 1862. Arlington House has secured its place in history as the heroes who sacrificed everything to protect our freedom and values.